the monsoon is arriving late this year. The India Meteorological Department or IMD has said that the monsoon will set in over Kerala on June 4th, a slight delay of four days. The delay though is not a cause for worry and will have no impact on the amount of rainfall the season gets. In fact, IMD has forecast a normal monsoon of 96%. What is a cause for concern though is a climate phenomenon called El Nino, which plays a major role in shaping weather patterns across the world. So what is El Nino? How does it affect India's monsoon? And why should the government and India's policymakers prepare for it? To put all of this into perspective, I'll be joined by independent weather blogger K. Srikanth. If you search for anything on El Nino, you'll probably come across the word Enzo. So before we look at El Nino, we first need to understand Enzo, which is the El Nino Southern Oscillation, a climate phenomenon that occurs in the tropical Pacific Ocean. Climate scientists call Enzo the most important climate phenomenon on the Earth because it has a huge influence on climate patterns across the world, including in India. Enzo involves changes in the temperature of the central and eastern Pacific Ocean and the atmosphere. Enzo has three stages or phases. 1. La Niña, which is the cooling of the ocean surface. 2. El Niño, which is the warming of the ocean surface. And 3. Neutral, when surface temperatures of the tropical Pacific Ocean are close to average. To explain a little more about El Nino, I'm joined by independent weather blogger K. Srikanth, who handles the very popular social media handle Chennai Rains. Uh, El Nino is basically the abnormal warming of uh, Central Pacific. Uh, uh, when Central Pacific warms by at least 0.5 degrees or more uh, for uh, five consecutive months, uh, then uh, we talk of an El Nino episode. To be clear, El Nino hasn't developed yet, but it is coming. The tropical Pacific Ocean is currently in the neutral state after being in the La Nina stage for the last three years. The IMD, however, has said that there's a 70% probability of El Nino developing during the southwest monsoon. The World Meteorological Department has said that while there's a 70% chance of transitioning to El Nino between June to August, this increases to 80% between July and September. India's southwest monsoon is between June to September. So the question is, how will El Nino affect India's southwest monsoon, which accounts for nearly 70% of the country's annual rainfall? So what happens with El Nino is that typically uh, there is a, a, a suppressed phase which happens over parts of the tropics and an enhanced phase which happens uh, over uh, some of the uh, tropical areas. So with La Nina and El Nino, what happens is this, uh, uh, the area of suppression and the area of enhanced uh, activity keeps shifting back and forth between east and west. So what happens with El Nino is that uh, there is a possibility that the uh, suppressed uh, area, uh, the area of suppression could happen over the Indian uh, subcontinent and the enhanced area of enhanced activity could happen over the West Pacific. So what happens during El Nino years is that the West Pacific sees uh, most more uh, typhoons and cyclones while the Atlantic sees lesser number of hurricanes. So it's basically the uh, this movement is why uh, the, whether it's El Nino or La Nina becomes critical for us because uh, the uh, performance of Indian summer monsoon uh, is directly dependent on whether the Indian subcontinent falls under the enhanced uh, area of activity or the suppressed area of activity uh, during uh, the uh, summer monsoon months. So. Uh, that's the reason why we actively track El Nino. To put it very simply, El Nino can disrupt the monsoon in India and has been associated with reduced rainfall. Since 1951, there have been 15 El Nino years. Nine of these years, India saw below normal rainfall. The last El Nino phase was between September 2014 to May 2016. India received only 86% of rainfall in 2015 far below normal. So will El Nino affect the southwest monsoon this year? IMD, remember, has forecast a normal monsoon of 96%, although it is on the lowest end of what it classifies as normal. So uh, uh, the central Pacific temperatures have just touched uh, 0.5 uh, uh, degrees, right? So now if you're talking of uh, uh, El Nino uh, being officially called for 2023, uh, 
uh, we need uh, the next five months to be uh, 0.5 degrees or more. So that would mean possibly uh, almost the entire monsoon months uh, uh, would, uh, or at least the first half of southwest monsoon uh, may uh, not be under very strong El Nino effect. Or uh, right, so at least the first half of the monsoon we could certainly uh, see better numbers uh, than. Uh, what a norm a year with El Nino effect would have been, right? So uh, my feeling is that uh, at least as far as Peninsular India goes, I don't see much of a trouble, even if it uh, if it is an El Nino uh, impact, uh, it is going to be North East India and uh, parts of Kentucky Plain that's going to uh, uh, be uh, need to be worried. But I still believe this year uh, we will surely uh, end up having a normal year because. Uh, uh, there will always be uh, a certain delay in El Nino actually getting established. So my feeling is that uh, by that time, uh, three fourth of our monsoon season would have been over. I think partially that is also one of the factors why IMB thinks that this year we could have a normal uh, year. Of course, as you rightly point out, uh, on the lower end of the scale. But it's not just the monsoon that is impacted by El Nino. The climate phenomenon is also associated with increased heat and drought. This year, it could be a slow flip, which means that uh, I think the third quarter or fourth quarter is when I think possibly we could see El Nino conditions. Uh, and next year could be very strong El Nino. So the year to watch out for in terms of summer monsoon for India has to be 2024. Not only uh, summer monsoon, but also in terms of the summer temperatures. When the ocean bodies are warmer, uh, it tends to also uh, increase the land temperatures uh, at some points, points of time during summer months. That's the reason why we need to uh, uh, be wary of uh, summer uh, being harsher uh, in 2024 uh, compared to 2020. 2023 summer has been uh, a very, very subpar to be honest. Uh, 2024 could be uh, a different summer altogether because the ocean bodies also will be much warmer than what it is now. The reason why El Nino is a cause for concern is because if the monsoon fails, it could have a huge impact on agriculture and India's economy. Crops like rice, pulses, sugarcane and groundnuts are likely to be affected. If many of these crops fail, it could drive up food inflation. It will also hit farm incomes and reduce consumer spending, which in turn can lead to India's economy slowing down. This is why the government and India's policymakers must prepare for El Nino and help protect India's farmers and the wider economy from its impacts. That's all for this week, but before I go, a quick reminder. If you value the journalism that we've been doing here at the News Minute, do support us by becoming a member. Also subscribe to our YouTube channels and as always, if you like this video, hit the like button and share this video with your friends.